Hello and welcome to Healthy Bites. My name is Dr. Ron Ehrlich, where each week I do a short post or story about the previous podcast or an article that I've read or a workshop that I've attended and I wanted to share with you. Hi, Dr. Ron Ehrlich here. Uh, well, we've got a big year planned. Um, stress is obviously a major fun uh, focus of this podcast, Unstress with Dr. Ron Ehrlich. Uh, the unstress is a made up word, which is all about understanding stress. That's really what it is, but also perhaps the opposite of stress is to de-stress or unstress. Um, but anyway, the word is unstress and the podcast is Unstress with Dr. Ron Ehrlich. And I'm often asked about stress and I have my five stressor model that I've used clinically for over, almost 40 years, and that is to look at stress as anything that has the potential to compromise your immune system or promote chronic inflammation. They are the two key things in chronic disease. Um, so, so anything that does that is, in, I, in my um, model, a something to identify and try and minimize. Emotional, environmental, postural, nutritional and yes, dental stress as well. And to anybody familiar with my work and my podcast, you'll know what that's all about. But a question I'm often asked is, is all stress bad? And the answer is most certainly not. How we think about stress is very important. For example, if the work you do stresses you out and you just come home every day and think, oh my God, this is killing me, I hate it, I just feel so stressed out then it probably isn't good for your health and actually your physiology will be responding accordingly. But if the person sitting next to you in the office doing exactly the same job as you is so excited and empowered by it and loves it, even though they're putting in the same or if not more hours than you, then their attitude to that is very different to yours and their attitude will have a very different physiological result. Um, so there's one thing there, but there are other intentional stresses. It's called hormesis or hormetic stress, which are good for you. And exercise is a good example of that. And another a stress that is very uh, good for you is um, putting your body, going through breathing. Uh, we've talked a lot about breathing on this podcast and we've explored what breathing well means, but you can actually use the breath to change your nervous system and your immune function. And we're going to be exploring that in a podcast I've done with, Doc, with Dino Gladstone. Uh, Dino is an absolute legend. And I started to explore with him ice baths. And that has been a really exciting and empowering thing for me to do. Me personally, I hate cold water. Um, I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to cold water. I usually wouldn't get in if it was under 18 degrees. Ooh, too cold. But with Dino, I got in the ice bath and it was two degrees with ice cubes floating in around me, totally submerged up to my shoulders. And it was an, and we were sitting in that ice bath. I was sat in that ice bath for three, three and a half minutes. And it was quite a remarkable experience. Um, and since then, Dr. Lewis Ehrlich, who also has a podcast called Mouthing Off, and Lewis is my partner in the dental surgery, apart from also being uh, my nephew. We've been doing regular uh, Saturday morning ice baths with uh, my, my brother, Dr. Josh Ehrlich, who's also been my partner for over 40 years in the dental surgery. And we've been exploring that uh, with some friends and relatives. And it's been really interesting to combine the breathing technique that Dino introduced us to, which is essentially based on Wim Hof, the ice man, um, and uh, then getting into an ice bath. So hormesis or, or um, intentional stress is a great way of changing body neurology and really empowering immune function. Another way is with infrared saunas, which I do regularly in my own home. I'm very fortunate to have a one-man infrared sauna. I have an infrared light on my desk here in the office, which I also use. Um, fasting is another intentional stress that, that it can have incredibly positive things, uh, effect on immune function. So n stresses that are bad for you compromise your immune system, emotional, environmental, postural, nutritional, and dental. That's what we're exploring. But we're also gonna be this year focusing a lot on intentional stress 
and hormesis or hormesis to boost immune function. So I'm, I'm hoping you're going to join us. I hope you'll enjoy the podcast that I did with Dino Gladstone and we're going to be tracing our journey over the year. Hope this finds you well. Be well. This podcast provides general information and discussion about medicine, health and related subjects. The content is not intended and should not be construed as medical advice or as a substitute for care by a qualified medical practitioner. If you or any other person has a medical concern, he or she should consult with an appropriately qualified medical practitioner. Guests who speak in this podcast express their own opinions, experiences and conclusions.